with me, Dad. Okay, honey. Tubby and the Lantern Tubby was a very small elephant. Tubby was almost small enough to fit under a bed. Almost, but not quite. But Tubby was a very good size for a pet. He belonged to a boy named Ah Me. Ah Me and Tubby lived in a town by the Rolling River. Their house was on the street of the Golden Lanterns. Everyone on the street made paper lanterns. They were lovely lanterns. They floated in the air. Ah Me's mother and father made the best lanterns of all. Ah Me helped them. Tubby helped Ah Me. Ah Me and Tubby made frames for the lanterns. They made them out of wood. They stuck gold paper to the frames. They made candles. They put the candles inside the lanterns. Then they painted the lanterns. Every day the family went across the rolling river to the market. They took the lanterns there to sell. But today was a special day. Today is Ah Me's birthday, thought Tubby. I must make a birthday present for him. Tubby took all the candles in the shop. He melted them in an enormous pot. Tubby made all the little candles into one enormous candle. Tubby took all the wood in the shop. He made an enormous frame. Tubby took all the golden paper in the shop. He stuck it to the frame. He took all the paint in the shop. Then he wrote, Happy Birthday, Ah Me, in enormous letters. What a lantern, thought Tubby. This is the most beautiful, most enormous paper lantern in the world. Tubby lit the candle. The big lantern began to fill with hot air. It began to float. Tubby grabbed it. But the lantern went up, and Tubby went up with it. Up over the river went Tubby and the lantern. They floated over the town. They floated over the market. They floated right over Ah Me. Ah Me looked up. He saw the lantern. He saw Happy Birthday Ah Me painted on it. And he saw that Tubby was in trouble. Hold on, Tubby, called on me. I'll save you. He grabbed a lot of little lanterns. He tied them all together. Up went the little lanterns, and up went on me. Up and up went on me. But then something went wrong. His candles began to go out. His lanterns began to fall. Tubby reached out as far as he could, and just as Ah Me fell past him, Tubby caught him. The birthday lantern floated on all night. It floated over the mountains. It floated over the sea. Thank you, Tubby, said Ah Me. It is the best birthday present I ever had. But how will we get down? 
Then the sun came up, and something new went wrong. The big candle was going out. The birthday lantern was falling. Tubby and Ah Me looked down. They could see two boats. The lantern was falling into the sea between them. Catch this, shouted a sailor. He threw them a rope. Tubby caught the rope. The sailor pulled them in. You are not safe yet, said a sailor. Those pirates are still after us. If they catch us, they will toss us all into the sea. I know what to do, said Ami. Help me move my birthday lantern. Quick, put the lantern over the smokestack. Tubby, tie our lantern to the boat. The lantern began to fill with hot smoke. The lantern began to float again. The lantern went up, and the boat went up with it. Up into the sky it floated. It left the pirates far below. The lantern floated over the sea. The lantern floated over the hills. Ah, me and Tubby looked down. We're almost home, said Ah, me. I see the rolling river. Turn off the smoke. Called on me. The hot smoke stopped coming out of the smokestack. Very slowly they all came down. They landed in the rolling river, right next to Ah Me's house. Ah Me and Tubby took the birthday lantern off the boat. That night, everyone came to Ah Me's birthday party. The party was two days late, but they had it anyway. And the next day was Tubby's birthday. Ah Me knew just what to give him. Ah Me got a hammer and some nails. He got some wood, and he made a bed. He made it so he could sleep on top, and he made it so Tubby could sleep underneath. Now, every night, Ah Me and Tubby sleep in this bed, and every night they dream the same dream. In their dream, they float away again in the most beautiful. Most enormous paper lantern in the world. But they always come back home safely every morning. The end. Thank you, Dad. You're welcome, sweetheart. You want to pick another one?